Hey, it's Steph. Thanks for watching today's video. I'm going to be doing my first update to the No Pan Left Behind project. I introduced this last month um, in my Panos Eyeshadows video and I decided to switch things up and use my collection a little differently and I'm so happy that I did. I was not enjoying uh, randomly selecting shades out of different palettes and trying to create looks out of them. I'd much rather use a whole palette for one look or and of course pulling like a single shadow in if I want to but this style has been working very well for me so I'm really happy that I decided to, to do it. I rolled in four palettes and I am rolling one out. You could probably guess which one it is. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's just get into the update. The first palette I'm going to talk about is my ColourPop California Love palette. And I only created one look with this this month. And I used three shades. So I'm, keep, so I'm definitely keeping this one in. But you can see my tally marks in the shades that I used. So I had this in my crease and all over my lid and I topped it with this beautiful yellow gold color and just deepened it up with this dark brown. I thought I thought that look was really fun and um, very warm toned, which I'm still playing with my undertones if I'm cool, if I'm warm, if I'm neutral. I have no idea, <laughs> which makes me think I'm neutral because I feel like I'm fine wearing both cool tones and neutral tones, but anyway, that's besides the point. I have eight shadows left to use in this, so I will just continue to wear it. The next palette is my Morphe 9T palette, and this is a very neutral palette, just a bunch of warm neutrals. And as you can see, try not to blind you with the mirror, but I have three tick marks in this palette as well. So of course I used the my lid setting shade. Um, that was the easy use. And then I use this in my crease and this on my lid. Very simple look, but I enjoyed how it turned out. These shades are pretty dark for me right now. Um, I'm hoping to get use on them before fall, but it might be a little while before I want to do a smoky eye. The next palette is my e.l.f. Bite Size in the shades Cream and Sugar. And as you probably guessed, this is what I'm rolling out. This is a super easy palette to use and I knew I could get every shade touched pretty quickly. I brought this on a weekend trip. This was my only palette that I brought and I used every single shade three times on that trip. Every day I created a look with this. This was in my crease. I topped this on my lid, put this on the center of my lid and the inner corner and I deepened the look out with this. So I'm just going to pop up one picture because it's the same look that I wore all three days and this is going to be rolling out. And then the last palette I've been working on is my Huda Beauty Mer Mercury Retrograde palette. This has been pretty fun to play with. I think I ended up creating three looks with this and hopefully the mirror is not freaking out but as you can see my tallies I have about half way to go. This shade right here I ended up topping it over a shadow in a different project so that was just one shade in the two looks and then the other two looks were these kind of pinky warm shades. I'm a little scared to use these right now. I haven't even swatched all of these, so I'm really not familiar with it. Uh, before I rolled it in this project, I had only used like these pink tones over here. So we will see what I think. I actually tried to use 
this shade one day um, as a topper and it just did not have very good payoff and I ended up using this shade instead. But yeah, that was pretty disappointing actually. I'm going to try it on its own, not going over a matte shadow and see how it works that way. But it is a really beautiful palette. To replace my e.l.f. Bite Size, I'm going to roll in a colorful palette because it's summertime. It's the perfect time to use. And it's going to be my Half Cake Snack Pack palette. I do have a shade in here um, in a different project right now. I have this Wild Berry shade in the Office Project Pan. So I think my goal is to use all the other shades. I know for a fact I will use this shade in that project, but I want to count those uses towards my other projects so I can roll it out of that <laughs> project too. And the whole point of this project is to get use out of my eyeshadows and I'm already getting use out of this purple shade. So that's what makes sense to me. But I'm really excited to get more use out of this. I had the yellow shade and also this light shade in, in two other projects previously. Um, and I know I do enjoy those. So I'm excited and nervous to get use out of these brighter pinks. That's it for this short and sweet update. Um, if you enjoyed, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to my channel already and you enjoy makeup and panning content, I encourage you to subscribe. So I see you in my next video.